Hello, happy Friday. It is me, it's Aziza, AKA Gourmet Pens. And here we are on the channel where we do pens, inks, paper, ink tasting, paper sniffing, pen touching. And today's pen touching is an exceptional one. So welcome, let's get ready for this one. I have it off screen because I'm trying to surprise you, but I guess the thumbnail gave it away. So the thumbnail has given it away. This is the first thing that I picked up and purchased at the DC Pen Show. And for reasons that I will tell you, it is probably the most exceptional. Actually, it is the most exceptional, but it's also the most special. And the reason for that is because this is a pen and a nib. Well, the nib was handmade and the pen is part of the package. So what it is, is the collaboration between Giants Pens in the Netherlands and Opus Cineris, who is Annabelle Hiller, and she has made the nib. So I'm pretty excited about this. So let's talk about it. Let me, let me tell you, let me tell you why this is really exciting. Way back in 2016, when I was still living in the Netherlands, uh, Apple Bohm had a, like a relaunch of the store, like they were redoing it and Yoast invited us out. And so I was there and this young, cute little Annabelle was in the store and she was like asking questions. She was like, hi, I'm Annabelle, like uh, asking questions about fountain pens and nibs and like nib tuning. And it was really cute because she admitted, she was like, I'm, I'm really new to this world, but I have a dream that I can make, that I will one day make nibs. And she was like, I don't think it's going to happen, but you know, I would really like for it to happen. And over the next few years, she went to goldsmithing school and like commuted for hours to get there and created all sorts of amazing things to get through the school, like to get through her schooling and her final projects. And it has really, like, it's so unbelievable that we are here now and I have a nib that she's made. And part of the reason this is really special is because although I moved away from the Netherlands in 2017, we kept in touch. And over the last like couple years, we got even closer, even though we were further apart. I'm just... I'm so proud of her and I'm so excited to share this with you. So this is not a review. This is like, check out this masterpiece kind of thing. So let's look at it. The box, first of all, you know, I don't really care about boxes, but this one matters. And the reason it matters is because what's inside is truly so dear and precious to me. So it is one of these lacquered boxes. Oh, look, it's me. Hi. And inside, would be the pen, which is over there. And here is the certificate of authenticity that Annabelle created. And I think it's really beautiful and it's handwritten, of course. Let me show you here where it's not as blown out by the light. Every detail is stunning. So I have number seven of 10. This is the first set of harmonic nibs that Annabelle has created. So I'm going to put in a small clip of the inspiration behind the nib. So please enjoy, small clip right here, small clip. So I made a nib. It's not the first nib I've ever made, but this one is a bit different. Its structural design sort of reminds me of this phenomenon that we know from physics and music theory, which is essentially when you have a wave that resonates on top of a fundamental frequency and the wave itself is a fraction of said frequency and it's those waves that gives everything that we hear its very unique sounds. Anyway, I'd like to introduce you to the harmonic nib. It took me a few iterations and redesigns to turn this nib into something that I could let my friends test drive. But now, many months of testing and fine tuning later, I think I understand what makes this nib work. One of the coolest aspects of it to me is that even using the softest materials, the nib doesn't give in, but it also doesn't lose its softness. It's very odd, but <laughs> I'm very excited to be releasing my very first batch of these 14 karat gold number six nibs fitted into these lovely hand-turned ebonite pens. 
And whoever's intrigued enough to get one, I'd love to hear what you think. And now I'm back. <laughs> okay, so the box. Okay, the box is lovely and it does matter, as I said, because this is really precious. The certificate of authenticity is the uh, paperwork for the pen and nib and it's very important to me. And here is the pen. So I'm showing you up here. There's a reason for that. The reason I'm showing you up here is, um, first of all, it needs this kind of light for you to see it, to see what, it, what, what the details are. This is made by Giants Pens and they have done an exquisite, stunning job on this pen. It is, the finishing is immaculate. And it is a, it's black ebonite, but it has like gray ripples. And so hopefully you can see the gray rippling. So I'm just gonna rotate it slowly. So that is, it's a, it's a beautiful pen, beautifully made, extremely comfortable, but that's not, again, that's not, that's not the big deal for me. The big deal is under the hood. Um, I regret saying it that way. So here is the pen in my hand, um, in my hand. There's a little bit of sunshine here. I left it so that you can kind of see the modeling, the, the ripple. It's very elegant, understated. You know, when you have like a, a black lacquered piano and you, you open the lid and the lid, the top, the key covering, I don't even know what the technical term for that is, but and you've got the beautiful keys and it's just, that's what this captures for me. So, which makes sense because Annabelle is also a very accomplished musician. So let's take a look at this nib. Okay, I'm going to unlock the focus. Sorry, there we go. Um, there we go. Sorry that I'm moving around. You're just gonna have to deal with it, sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. This is a Jobo number six nib. Jobo collar number six nib. It has an ebonite feed it is 14 karat gold. Now, basically what happened here is Annabelle made this nib. It's not, a st it, it's a stacked nib in that it has a piece of, a, an extra piece of gold on top, but it's not stacked in that she's cut up several nibs and put it together. It is handmade. She has made this nib. Um, she's created the slit. She has hammered the extra layer on top I just, I think this is mind blowing. And she asked what kind of tipping I would like. And I was like, what, what nib grind I would like. I'm like, well, obviously a round quadruple majillion broad, which is what she captured. And I, I, I really don't know how to go on and on about this without going on and on about this, which is kind of what I'm doing. So, she went to goldsmithing school. She has learned how to grind, tune, adjust nibs. So she, this is, this is all of, of her work. And I think, I mean, it's amazing. It's amazing because when is the last time somebody melted gold and, and crafted a nib like this, cut the slit, uh, put the layers, ground the tipping, well, put tipping. It's, it's, it's a marvel. So I'm very honored that I have one of 10 of these pieces and it was a no brainer. Like there was just no question. I'm going to ink it with Waterman South Sea Blue. Um, the reason I, oh, I hope that doesn't tip. It's on a rickety notebook. The reason I haven't inked it yet was because I want to show you what, uh, what the nib looks like after it has ink on it. It's amazing. So it, it holds the ink in a way that is just incredibly cool and is really hard to capture. So hopefully you get the picture. The hammered finish also holds ink and there's like a little lift under the top 
layer of gold and I swear this thing funnels ink in the most delicious beautiful way so I think it's exquisite and I think the pen world is extremely lucky to have Opus Neris and Annabelle in it so let's let's do the writing the writing um, I can't really see what I'm doing I need to move again I'm sorry I can't really see what I'm doing there we go so we have hello now that I've left it open okay so we've got the Opus Sinaris. That was me. Um, just for the record, when I bought this nib, Annabelle messaged me and she's like, can you send me a video of your writing angle? So I sent her like pictures and videos and I rotate ever so slightly. Sometimes, not always, but for when I'm doing pretty handwriting, which I like to think this is, I rotate slightly and she nailed, nailed the smoothing and grind for me it's just exquisite so we have a beautiful gushing nib it's perfect for me it is perfect it's it's like she went into my brain and crafted what i wanted so we have waterman It's actually called Inspired Blue, but whatever. I refuse to call it that. Okay, so Waterman South Sea Blue. Um, I... You know, I've actually never tried reverse writing. I'm just going to try... Oh! Oh my goodness! That is so nice. I don't know if it's supposed to reverse write, but it does. And it is. Okay, that's really cool. So... Okay, let me do, this is the harmonic nib. If you don't think the story behind the harmonic nib is not, is beautiful, there, you might be crazy. So I, oh, sorry, this is a really oily page. I probably should have turned the page. That's gross. So this is actually tuned to my hand um, in terms of my writing angle. And I actually write pretty high. So if I write low, it feels totally different. There's a little bit more feedback, which I don't mind. But it is not tuned for that angle. So the angle that I am tuned for, because I sent her a picture of me writing like this, which is quite high. Most people are lower. The reason I'm quiet is just because I'm just kind of marveling over this. So, hopefully you can see. One sec, I'm going to open this. Oh, that was a bad idea. Oh, shoot, hang on. Oh, what a dummy she is. <laughs> Me being the dummy. Um, I'm going to do close-ups close a video but I just want to show you how cool it is so hello cello it has a slight bit of feedback I am using slightly tooth paper toothy paper but um the the sweet spot for me is just it's just right so 
everyone's is going to be different because she's tuned them all differently. And this one is just, this is made for me. So the harmonic. So I think, I can't spell and write at the same time. I can't spell and write and talk and think and spell properly at the same time. I think this is an incredibly cool pen. I think this nib is revolutionary in that someone is making this and that someone is a dear friend of mine and I'm super proud of her and I'm really excited and I hope you will be as excited as I am. There will be more to come. I know she's doing more. Um, I actually have a, a different nib from Annabelle that I will share with you. Um, I'm just... I'm just like, I'm just really proud. It's like watching your baby grow up. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So let's go do some side shots because I think you'll really, really enjoy that. And so will I, and then we will come back. Isn't that spectacular? So I will put links to Annabelle's social media and her website. And I highly recommend you follow because I know there's more things coming. Um, if you want to leave a comment for her, I will make sure she reads them and sees them. You can also go over to her social media and leave her comments. So social media here it is or wherever i'll put it somewhere or down there below on the description i just think this is really amazing and it's something i'm really excited and honored to support and i'm i'm thrilled with the pen uh, i'm i'm super pleased and i think it's great that applebaum made made it possible that annabelle could sell these on the Applebaum website. I mean, that's supporting her and I don't know. It's just, it was a team effort and you know, it's like the last mile, like only one person can do it. It's like, you know, Frodo in the ring, like Sam could only carry him so far and, and support him so far. And then Frodo had to do it. I and mean, he didn't in the end, but anyway, um, <laughs> Annabelle did it. So, okay. That was a nerdy, terrible reference. So anyway, I hope you are as excited as I am. Um, I'm completely smitten with this nib. I think it is, I mean, it's going to be inked forever. And this is like easily the best thing I own. So it's really special. Am I biased? Yeah. I mean, Annabelle is close to me, but whatever. Um, that just because I'm biased doesn't mean I'm wrong. So that's all. Like I said, please give her some love because I know it would mean the world to her and she would never ever say it. So please uh, share the love and let her know what you think and what you're looking forward to. And uh, thank you guys for watching. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this makes you smile. I hope this makes you excited about the pen world. And um, yeah, I wish you a wonderful Friday and have a great weekend. We'll see you for the next video.